On the 5th of November 2013, Indian Space Research Organization launched the Mangalian mission to Mars, which cost $73 million only. At the same year, NASA launched MAVEN mission to Mars, which costs around $671 million. The total budget of Chandrayaan-3 is just 615 crores, which is much less than the average budget of Hollywood movies. So, how is ISRO doing the space missions very effectively with a low budget? Cheap labor is one of the factors. These missions takes a lot of engineers. Those engineers cost much less in India than they do in the U.S. The mean annual income for an aeronautical engineer in the United States is just under $105,000 according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, while the aerospace industry in India indicates that the higher end of the scale for engineers is less than $20,000. Thousands of people work on a project and their salaries make a good portion of the total cost of the mission. Second one is technology adaptation. It often uses older or previously used technologies in a new project or mission instead of designing and building completely new technologies for a new mission. For example, in Mangalyan mission, PSLV that was used in Moon mission earlier was used as launch vehicle which was not sufficiently powerful to inject the satellite directly towards Mars. It placed the craft in Earth orbit and using a risky orbit rising maneuver technique and gravitational slingshot, it was injected towards Mars. The use of PSLV was a technology adaptation. Although ASRO used such a risky technique, it was very helpful to save cost. Building components on its own. Often ISRO builds components on its own, even if that is available in market. It helps to reduce the cost as commercial stuffs cost higher than self-made ones. For example, PSLV is getting changed over the years and ISRO miniaturized the avionics and built its own chip and onboard computer. In many cases, technologies and machines are India's homegrown and thus cheaper than the counterparts in foreign. ISRO uses the full power of software and emphasize on computer simulations. When other big agencies like NASA and European Space Agency usually build three physical models of the spacecraft to test, ISRO uses computer software and simulations instead and finally builds a single model that will actually fly. ISRO did this in both Chandrayaan-1 and Mangalyaan mission. It's a big cost-saving approach. It's also risky, but ISRO wills to compromise and manage that. Aggressive work schedule. ISRO makes aggressive and sacrosanct work schedule to reduce the development time. Engineers work round the clock, often in shifts at that period. It reduces the total development time and saves all the related expenses. For example, NASA's MAVEN mission took five years to be developed where Mangalyan took only 15 months. Although MAVEN was technologically more advanced and cutting edge, the budget for NASA's fiscal year, 2020, is $22.6 billion, while the average annual budget for ISRO is $1.45 billion. The annual budget differences between the two organizations are almost $20 billion. Only 450 crores were spent on the ISRO Mars mission than on the Hollywood film Gravity and many other Hollywood movies.